Your car, assuming it's been made in the last 20 years or so, has a whole bunch of sensors on it and most of them are going to be running at a 5 volt reference. But why? The typical car battery is going to sit around 12.3 to 12.6 volts. After you start the car up, the alternator takes over, it's going to produce a little more voltage, but not too much. So since the car already has a voltage it's working with, why don't they just build the sensors to work with that voltage? One major factor is that the voltage coming out of your alternator is very unpredictable. Even if you're sitting still at idle and not messing with any of the controls, there's a ripple in the alternator voltage signal. That's not something you could see by putting a multimeter on it. The refresh rate on those is way too slow to see it. You'd have to put a lab scope on it and look at the signal that you're getting. And that's just at idle. As you're driving, your engine speed's going up and down, so your alternator's spinning at different rates, and then you're using all kinds of electronic items, and that's going to change how much voltage you have. So how do you take that unpredictable voltage and make something stable out of it? Well, you use one of these. This is a voltage regulator. It has three legs on it. One of them's for your power, one of them's a ground, and the last one is your five volt source. One of the limitations of these things is that you have to start out with a higher voltage than your end result voltage. With this five volt one, you have to fall well below 12 volts for it to stop producing five volts. So with that in mind, why 5 volts instead of say 9 or 3? Well, by the time the automotive industry really started loading their cars up with sensors, 5 volts had already been established as kind of an industry standard. Coming up with a new voltage standard for cars would have meant abandoning all the research data that you already had on 5 volt sensors, so it wasn't a good move to do that. Going with a moderately low voltage also meant you wouldn't be working with as many amps, so less heat would be generated and it's safer for the computers that deal with those sensors. Hopefully this video has been educational. If you feel like I left out any vital information, let me know in the comments and until then, I hope to see you in the next Car Simplified video. Thanks for watching.